How's it guys and welcome back to another hand sealer video. I'm Han, I talk about all things to do with graphic design and running my own freelance graphic design business. And today is really exciting because if you've been following along for a while, you know that I work in close collaboration with Kittle. Kittle is basically an all-in-one graphic design platform for both beginner and advanced graphic designers. And they have recently just released Kittle 2.0, which is a whole bunch of new features that they have added to their platform. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through what some of these features are, how it impacts us as graphic designers who use Kittle. And you'll be able to see if this is something that you would be able to use in your graphic design workflow. Thank you to the team at Kittle for sponsoring today's video and if you would like to get 25% off you can use my code HANSEALERYT at checkout and this is for all pro and expert paid Kittle plans for new users. So let's jump in and see what these new features are. The three main pointers of the Kittle update is design for both beginner and advanced or seasoned designers, deliver so being able to design for various needs so vector and pixels and so forth and then thirdly it's collaborate. So with collaboration you can now add team members to your Kittle workspace and you can review and edit together as a team. Before I start, I also want to add that Kittle is like right in the middle of releasing a whole bunch of features. So these are all the ones that have been released so far and later on in the year, they are going to be releasing even more features. So it's a very exciting year for Kittle. So here we are in Kittle and I've just created a new project and artboard and I'm going to show you the first very cool thing. And that is Kittle has always had their AI generator but now you can actually have your own little AI co-pilot that pops up in your workspace. And we have the ability to be able to restyle our images. So if you upload your own image into Kittle, you'll be able to restyle it, or you can use an image from their image bank on Kittle. For example, I'm gonna restyle this portrait into a Van Gogh styled artwork. So I'm going to quickly quick generate and have it on a high style strength. And there you go. As you can see, it's taken the same placement, but it is obviously just turned it into a Van Gogh artwork. Now let's try to do the low style. So let's adjust that. And as you can see, it's definitely got a more feminine feel to it but ultimately this looks really good now let's try something different let's do like a black and white photograph style for example and we're going to put this on medium so as you can see here she looks like she's like stepped out of an old photograph like in a photo album but it's still taking the same image it's just been restyled so that is something new that Kittle has introduced and I'm definitely going to be using this to just further edit and manipulate and use AR to make changes to some photographs which is really cool. The second thing that's really cool is they have now released a new AR model so these images have now been trained on a new model called Flux 1.1 Pro so previously it was only on Dali so if you look here we can change from Dali to Flux 1.1 Pro and this is going to be really good for photography so if you want to make your own mock-ups for example if you want to make your own photographs if you need something that's very specific for example let's do a photorealistic image of a sausage dog wearing a blue suit with a green tie and he's standing upright and boom there you go look how cool that is oh my goodness that's adorable and if we look here on the left as well you can also find similar images as well so for reference let's go back and change it to Dali 3 and then put this on the photography style so as you can see it's popped up it's still translated the image really well except I'm not too sure why they've got this other sausage dog in the front so yeah I don't know personal preference for me personally I do prefer the flux 1.1 model for this one now the second cool kittle feature is that they have also transformed layout and how we lay out certain things and with this being said you can automatically see it already is we have rulers and guides and we can add margins which is so helpful as graphic designers so I will come back to the guides but as you can see here we have margins and we can link and unlink them and have different margins for different things as you can see it's smart guides how exciting I absolutely love using smart guides they help you so much with layout so this is going to be a really big game changer now if you look up here in the right hand corner this is number three collaboration so you are now able to share your project directly on Kittle and add your team members to work or edit or view your work so for example we can invite collaborators by email now let's quickly do a duplicate artboard and i'm going to show you what the fourth new feature is and that is brand kits so if you are a graphic designer you know how important it is to have a brand kit and you can now create those in kittle so let's do a little mock over here let's add some text styles i'm just going to change that quickly and make it a heading and okay so now we have this is body copy text you can see here if i go back in and edit in the brand kit i'm going to change this from bold to light 
and it automatically has changed it. So this is the great thing about working as a graphic designer with a brand kit and the same goes for colors as well. So for example, I'm going to create some primary blues and reds and let's do a secondary color of green. So what's great about this is you can have all of these different colors and if you go back into your brand kit and you recolor it from within your brand kit, you can see here the red, it will automatically update all the colors that were previously from that brand kit color. And the same with the blue here. So that is why it's really important to have a brand kit. Not only does it keep your brand and everything kind of in order, so things don't get mismatched and you don't have weird fonts and colors, it's also just really easy to adjust an entire artwork. If you are working on something that's like 30 artboards long and you've got this one shade of pink on all 30 artboards, instead of having to manually go in and edit, and change it, you can just change it in your brand kit. You can also change shadow styles and textiles and graphics and all that. So you have the full shebang in the brand kit and you can have multiple brand kits as well. So it's really good if you're working on a variety of different clients, each client will have a different brand kit and then have them all in your kit little profile. So that's really cool. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you, this is probably one of my favorite new updates and that is the ability to edit your images. So if you've been around, you will know that I absolutely love the kit little back Background remover. So if we click here on this shoe, we're going to remove background and it's so effortless. Honestly, Kittle really does this so well. And on top of that, you can go in and erase certain parts as well. So let's just take off that little thing. But what we're going to do now is we are going to restyle this and I'm, I'm just going to take it from this example in a pop out style and a medium strength and generate. And as you can see here, we literally have a Nike shoe exactly the same, just in a pop out style in that colorway. I absolutely love this new feature and I'm definitely going to be using this, especially when it comes to creating mood boards or requiring a very specific image. This is going to be such a game changer in creating my own custom images. And it only took a couple of seconds, so it's really cool. The next fun Kittle feature is vector editing. So as you can see here, we can click on the anchor points and we are able to change the radius, which we can also do on the right hand panel as well. As you can see here, it changes. And this has not been released just yet, but it is in the works and Kittle has told us about it but soon we will be able to edit vector shapes through anchor points like a direct selection being able to use the pen tool to adjust anchor points and vector edit as an illustrator myself and as someone that really enjoys manipulating typography this is really going to be a game changer especially for advanced graphic designers that use Kittle and then furthermore to all of this we also have access to the Pathfinder tool so if you are also a seasoned graphic designer like myself the Pathfinder tool is used all the time so being able to use the Pathfinder tool in Kittle is going to make a big difference, especially when it comes to creating my own custom shapes or typography or logo designs. So that's really cool. And the final really cool Kittle feature that I want to show you is text editing. So let's quickly plonk a little heading over here and I will show you how you can edit it. You can custom edit it currently, but we're not able to direct select and maneuver each anchor point. So that is obviously coming soon. Now, obviously, if you're a graphic designer, being able to edit your text is such an important edit area of graphic design, especially when it comes to tracking, leading and kerning. So currently you can change your leading and your tracking, but you cannot change your kerning. Kerning is being able to adjust each individual letter, like the space between certain letters. So for example, if I select these two letters here and I decide to change it, as you can see, it changes the whole word, all the letters. So that would be tracking, not kerning. So kerning is something that will be coming to Kittle soon as well, which I'm very excited about. And also the ability to be able to change the color of one or two letters as opposed to the whole word. So if you see here, I will recolor it to red, but it changes the whole word rather than the individual letters. So that is another thing that is very exciting that I'm going to be looking out for in the new features. But Kittle has told us that this is going to be released soon. So it's very exciting. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how I, as a graphic designer, can use this editing and restyling and AI to generate my own mockups. So for example, we're going to do a brown square box made of eco card and let's say it's sitting on a wooden table. So now I'll be able to take my design. I'll be able to mock it up directly onto this custom photo that I've just created. For example, we can also do a billboard with like cars racing by. 
which is really cool. Obviously, Kittle has their built-in mock-up generator, so you can also use that. But if you want to have something a little bit more specific, or if you have a very particular type of client and you really want to reiterate something that's very specific to them and you know will help sell the designs, you can create your own custom AI image in Kittle and then put your artwork on top of that. So that is another way that I use AI in my graphic design workflow with my clients as well, just to have a more personalized experience and to just help sell my designs to my clients when I mock it up. Being able to create mock-ups is such an important part of graphic design. You can check out this video if you want to see more about how I create mock-ups in Kittle as well. So have a watch. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these new Kittle features. I can't wait to see what else they released this year. But it's been so much fun to be able to play and experiment on Kittle. As I always say in my videos, I am a freelance graphic designer. I am a professional graphic designer. But being able to find tools and softwares and programs that help aid my workflow and allow me to work quicker and faster and deliver my deadlines at an even better pace. I always am on the lookout for great graphic design tools and Kittle is definitely something that I add into my graphic designer toolbox. So if you want to try Kittle for free, you can sign up using the link below or you can use my code HANSILOIT to get your 25% discount or pro and expert paid Kittle plans for new users. So check that out. Hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. I'll see you soon. Keep creating and keep doing good stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good one and bye.